What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 Foster Farms Bowl between the Maryland Terrapins and the Stanford Cardinal. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with Maryland. For Maryland in this ball game, you look at their outstanding nose tackle, Darius Kilgo, being a disruptive force on the inside. You're going to see a lot of downhill running, tackle to tackle, and more so guard to guard with this Stanford offense. And if Kilgo can be disruptive in that 3-4 defense, it throws off a lot of what Stanford wants to do running the football. And quarterback C.J. Brown's passing will be key. Right now, they're too run heavy, and they're going to have to do something to back up that box or back Stanford out of the box so that way they can have more room running the football. And defensively, I would say aggressive versus Kevin Hogan. He's a guy, in my opinion, that doesn't see the field well. He doesn't handle the blitz well. And if Maryland is going to create some turnovers, it will come because they're able to put pressure on Kevin Hogan. And for Stanford in this ball game, you want to make Stephon Diggs a non-factor. That's their biggest playmaker offensively for the Terrapins. And if you could take him away and force C.J. Brown to go to other targets, it makes him that much easier to defend. And you have to play Stanford football. That's getting back to basics, running the football, chewing up the T.O.P., forcing the other team to maximize their own possessions offensively. I think that's how they can have some success. Don't get overly creative versus a team that you can just line up and run the football against. And winning on first down defensively is going to be huge in this ball game. I talked about it earlier, C.J. Brown's passing, because, again, Maryland is about 70% running the football. They run a lot of read option. If you can win on first down defensively, it puts these guys in second and long and third and long situations in which they struggle. The biggest X factor in this ball game for the Terrapins will be their defensive coordinator, Brian Stewart, and what he can draw up defensively to slow down this Stanford offensive attack. He's a bright defensive mind, and he does a great job in putting guys in position to have success. If he can slow down the ground game or get these guys in position to stop the run, it bodes well for their chances to knock off the Cardinal. And for Stanford, the biggest X factor, I believe, are the outside linebackers versus this read option attack of Maryland. If they can't keep contain on the outside and C.J. Brown is able to get outside in the running game and also in the passing game on those boots and waggles, Stanford can find themselves struggling versus this Terrapins offense. Now here are some 2015 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game, and these are only senior prospects. Ty Montgomery isn't on the list because he's not going to play in this ball game, and he's out with injury. Although I'm a big fan of his game, you also look at Stephon Diggs, a wide receiver out of Maryland, who may declare early, but right now he's a junior. When you look at two senior prospects that I think really stand out to me are James Barters, a linebacker out of Stanford, and Darius Kilgo, the nose tackle at 6'3", 3'10", a guy that I also think can excel as a one tech. Despite being only 5'9", 187 pounds, Bob Ward was a fixture on both sides of the line of scrimmage for the Maryland Terrapins from 1948 to 1951. Ward would go on to become a two-time All-American and four-time team MVP. James Lofton was a two-sport performer at Stanford, ran track as well as played football, and as a senior, Lofton caught 57 passes for over 1,000 yards, averaging 17.7 yards a catch and 14 touchdowns, en route to making All-American honors, and later that spring, Lofton won the long jump competition at the 1978 NCAA Track and Field Championships. Maryland took on Florida in the 1975 Gator Bowl, and this was a very good Gators team that was ranked 13th in the country with two losses by a combined four points. That didn't matter to the Terps head coach Jerry Claiborne as Maryland shut out the SEC champs 13-0. In Bill Walsh's first season back as Stanford's head coach, he led the Cardinal to a 9-3 record in a trip to the Blockbuster Bowl versus Joe Paterno's Penn State Nittany Lions, and the Nittany Lions were no match for the Cardinal West Coast offensive attack as Stanford knocked off Penn State 24-3.
I like Stanford in this ball game. I believe early on in this matchup, Maryland will be extra aggressive, trying to force Kevin Hogan to beat them throwing the football, and I think he can. I think he will hit the short passes to open up room in the running game. And defensively, I like what they do in the front seven. I think they'll do a great job in slowing down C.J. Brown. And that running game of Maryland, look for Stanford to come away the 2014 Foster Farms Bowl champ.